Hello and greetings from Percentilers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 36th video of the 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020 brought to you by Percentilers. So set 36 I have named as allowed stitches and you will shortly know why. Please have a look. This is the only information, one of the shortest information sets. Please read it and then I have mentioned this thing over here. So all together we have two cutters, five tailors and two assistants. Two cutters into 10 hours means for cutting we have 20 hours for stitching we have 50 hours and for buttoning we have 20 hours again since each person is working for 10 hours every day so if the job is only of cutting then uh, for the Mayflower school, in one hour, the cutting for three dress, dresses can be done. So in 20 hours, 60 dresses can be cut. About stitching, one hour is needed for Mayflower as well as for Little Flower. So for either of the uniforms, 50 uniforms per day can be stitched, etc, etc, etc. So I think we can just look at the questions because this is the only simple information given to us. First question is, and all the questions in this set are the theta type questions where, wherein you have to type in the answer and the answer is always a number what is the maximum number of little flower uniforms this question is based on this one that a lord can make in a day okay so as we mentioned that 20 hours of cutting 50 hours man hours actually 50 hours of stitching available and 20 man hours of buttoning available so as far as uh, cutting is concerned and we don't have to think about the mayflower school over here about little flower school half an hour to cut one uniform so for 20 hours there will be 40 uniforms cut 50 uniforms stitched because one hour for each and we have 50 hours and again 40 here so we have to choose the minimum because if only 40 uniforms can be cut then anyway more than that cannot be completely prepared so i will say 40 is the answer to this question. I hope you understood it. At any point of indifference or confusion, please pause the video and rewind it and see it once again. And please doing, keep doing so unless you have understood everything crystal clear. Moving to the second question. What is the maximum number of Mayflower uniforms? Okay, opposite. This time, we have to think about Mayflower. So, let me write the numbers over here. Uh, we have 20 hours of cutting, 50 hours of stitching and 20 hours of buttoning. So, 3 uniforms cut in 1 hour. So, 60 uniforms can be cut, 50 uniforms can be stitched and 80 uniforms can be buttoned. So, we have to choose the minimum. So, answer to this question, I will choose as 50 for the same reason as I mentioned in the first question. Moving on to the third question. Question number 3. On a particular day, a lot decided to make 20 little flower uniforms. So, 20 little flower uniforms have to be made. So, everything into 20. So, 600 minutes will be used in cutting. 1200 minutes will be used in stitching. And again, 600 minutes will be used in cutting. Okay. So, basically, 10 hours have been used here. 20 hours have been used. Man hours I am talking about. And again, 10 hours. Okay. And we had available 20 hours. 50 hours and 20 hours again okay so how many remaining so 10 hours have been used in little flower so remaining also 10 hours 30 hours remaining for uh, stitching and uh, again 10 hours remaining for buttoning okay so at the rate of 20 minutes per uniform 30 uniforms can be cut because 10 hours are remaining as per the remaining time 30 uniforms of mayflower can be cut and 30 hours remaining for stitching and one hour for each uniform that means 30 uniforms again could be stitched and four uniforms per hour at this rate 40 uniforms can be buttoned but we have to choose the minimum as usual so answer to this question i'll choose as 30 so 30 mayflower uniforms can be made on that day having made already 20 little flower uniforms moving on the fourth question so a lord decides to make 30 little flower uniforms only okay so here i am going to write so 30 uniforms of little flower only so 30 into 30 900 minutes okay so out of the 20 hours of cutting 50 hours man hours of stitching and 20 man hours of buttoning how many have been used so 900 minutes that means 15 hours have been used remaining 5 hours okay so 30 uniforms, 1 hour per uniforms, 30 hours have been used, 20 man hours remaining, okay. And uh, again, 15 hours have been used, so 5 hours again remain. So how many unused or remaining man hours, so 30 man hours remaining. Answer to this question will become 30 hours. And moving on to the 
last question now what is the maximum total number of uniforms a lord can complete in a day if he has to deliver at least 15 uniforms to both the schools every day so into 15 here into 15 here okay so i will be writing used and unused so after we have the idea of the unused hours 20 hours were available for cutting 50 hours for stitching and 20 hours for buttoning okay so 300 minutes and 450 750 minutes 750 minutes is uh, 12 and a half hours remaining 7.5 hours unused and 30 uniforms one hour each 30 hours used 20 hours remaining and for buttoning so 225 plus 450 is 675 which means 11.25 hours so that means 8.75 hours remaining all right now we have to deliver maximum number of uniforms after doing the bare minimum the bare minimum has been done using these many hours so i will any day choose the mayflower uniforms to be made because they consume less time in case of cutting and buttoning okay so at the rate of uh, 3 per hour in 7.5 hours roughly 22 uniforms can be cut here 20 uniforms can be stitched and at the rate of 4 per uniform sorry uh, 4 uniforms per hour in 8.75 hours 35 uniforms can be so we have to choose the minimum answer to this question becomes not 20 but 20 plus 30 because all over maximum total number of uniforms we have been asked total number of uniforms so 30 he has already delivered for mayflower 15 for mayflower school and 15 for little flower school over and above these 30 20 more can be delivered so 50 overall becomes the answer okay so these are uh, these were some open ended questions the theta type questions uh, you saw not a very difficult set but once you have to be clear about why to choose minima in every question all right guys that would be all from my side for this set uh, keep watching the space for more content to come thank you so very much for watching this and guys if you really like our uh, selection of questions and the way of explanation then you can uh, subscribe to us so this is mayankrat singh signing off see you again very soon take care